The dimly lit garage served as Andrew Hall's sanctuary, a haven of solitude amidst the chaos of the world beyond its walls. In this secluded space, surrounded by the scent of grease and the hum of machinery, Andrew felt alive in a way that he never did amidst the sterile confines of the classroom. His fingers danced over the scattered tools and half-finished projects that cluttered every surface, his mind alive with the possibilities that lay before him. For Andrew was not just a dropout, a failure in the eyes of society, he was a genius, a prodigy whose brilliance burned brighter than any diploma could ever attest. As he hunched over his workbench, his eyes alight with excitement, Andrew's thoughts raced with the thrill of creation. With each delicate adjustment and precise calculation, he drew closer to his goal, his heart pounding with anticipation. Andrew, are you still out here? Came a voice from the doorway, breaking the silence of the garage. It was Janice, Andrew's wife, her face illuminated by the soft glow of the overhead light. Yes, Janice, Andrew replied, tearing his gaze away from his work to smile at her. I'm just putting the finishing touches on something big. Janice stepped further into the room, her eyes shining with curiosity. What is it? She asked, her voice filled with wonder. Andrew hesitated for a moment, his fingers tracing the outline of the device before him. It's a new invention, he said finally, his voice tinged with excitement. Something that could change everything. As Janice moved closer to get a better look, Andrew couldn't help but feel a surge of pride. For in that moment, surrounded by the clutter of his garage and the warmth of his wife's presence, he knew that he was onto something truly extraordinary. And as he returned to his work with renewed vigor, he whispered a silent vow to himself to never let anyone dim the spark of genius that burned within him. The fluorescent lights of the office buzzed overhead, casting a harsh glare upon the sterile surroundings. Andrew Hall sat at his desk, his fingers tapping nervously against the keyboard as he tried to focus on his work. But try as he might, he couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at the edges of his consciousness. Across the room, Parker Cole, Andrew's department manager, prowled like a shadow, his disapproving gaze fixed squarely upon his young subordinate. To Parker, Andrew was little more than a nuisance, an upstart who dared to challenge the established order of things. Andrew, Parker called out, his voice cutting through the tense silence of the office. I need those reports on my desk by the end of the day and make sure they're error free this time. Andrew swallowed hard, his stomach churning with apprehension. Yes, sir, he replied, forcing a smile that felt more like a grimace. As Parker turned away, Andrew couldn't help but feel the weight of his disapproval bearing down upon him. It was a familiar sensation, one that had haunted him ever since he had first set foot in the company's hallowed halls. Are you okay, Andrew? Came a voice from behind him. It was Sarah, Andrew's co-worker and confident, her brow furrowed with concern. Andrew forced himself to nod, but inside, he felt anything but okay. I'm fine, Sarah, he replied, his voice strained, just trying to get through the day. Sarah gave him a sympathetic smile, her eyes filled with understanding. Don't let Parker get to you, she said softly. You're doing great work, Andrew. Don't ever forget that. But as Andrew watched Parker stalk through the office, his disdain plain for all to see, he couldn't help but wonder if Sarah's words were little more than empty platitudes. For in the shadow of doubt that Parker cast upon him, Andrew found himself questioning whether he truly belonged in this world of corporate politics and cutthroat competition. And as the hours stretched on, he couldn't shake the feeling that he was fighting a losing battle against forces far greater than himself. The air in the office seemed heavy with tension as Andrew Hall sat at his desk, his eyes fixed on the screen in front of him, but his mind elsewhere. The events of the past weeks had taken their toll on him, leaving him feeling weary and disillusioned. Parker Cole's betrayal hung like a dark cloud over Andrew's head, casting a shadow of doubt over everything he had worked so hard to achieve. The man who should have been his mentor had instead become his greatest adversary, stealing credit for Andrew's innovations and belittling him at every turn. As Andrew stared at the reports on his desk, his hands clenched into fists at the sides. How could Parker be so callous, so blind to the damage he was causing, and more importantly, how could Andrew ever hope to prove his worth in a world where his accomplishments were constantly overshadowed by his lack of formal education? Andrew, are you alright? 
came a voice from behind him. It was Janice, Andrew's wife. Her concern evident in her tone. Andrew forced a smile, but it felt hollow on his lips. I'm fine, Janice, he replied, his voice strained, just trying to stay focused. But Janice was not so easily fooled. She moved closer to him, her hand resting gently on his shoulder. You don't have to pretend with me, Andrew, she said softly. I know how much Parker's actions have hurt you. Andrew's shoulders sagged beneath the weight of her words, and for a moment, he allowed himself to lean into her comforting embrace. It's just, it's hard, Janice, he admitted, his voice barely above a whisper. I feel like I'm fighting a losing battle, like no matter what I do, it'll never be enough. But Janice refused to let him wallow in despair. You're stronger than you think, Andrew, she said firmly, her eyes locking with his. You've overcome obstacles before, and you'll overcome this one too. I believe in you. And as Andrew looked into the depths of Janice's unwavering gaze, he felt the spark of hope ignite within him. Perhaps he couldn't change the past or control the actions of others, but he could choose how he responded to adversity. And with Janice's love and support to guide him, he knew that he would find the strength to rise above the strain of betrayal and reclaim his place in the world. The morning sun streamed through the window of Andrew Hall's modest home, casting a warm glow over the cozy interior. As Andrew sat at the kitchen table, sipping his coffee and stealing glances at the newspaper spread out before him, he couldn't shake the lingering sense of unease that had plagued him in recent days. But just as the shadows of doubt threatened to engulf him once more, the sound of footsteps echoed through the hallway, and Andrew looked up to see Janice, his wife, entering the room with a smile on her face. Good morning, Andrew, she said cheerfully, crossing the room to plant a kiss on his cheek. How did you sleep? Andrew returned her smile, grateful for the warmth of her presence. Better than I have in a while, he admitted, reaching out to squeeze her hand affectionately. Thanks to you. Janice's smile widened, and she took a seat beside him at the table. I'm just happy to see you feeling more like yourself, she said gently. You've been through so much lately, Andrew, but you don't have to face it alone. Andrew's heart swelled with gratitude as he looked into Janice's eyes, so full of love and understanding. In her, he found solace and strength, a beacon of hope in the darkness that threatened to consume him. But it wasn't just Janice who offered him support in his time of need. As Andrew made his way to work, he found himself greeted with smiles and words of encouragement from his co-workers, their solidarity a testament to the bond they shared. Hey Andrew, how are you holding up? Came a voice from behind him. It was Sarah, his co-worker and confident, her expression filled with genuine concern. Andrew offered her a grateful smile, touched by her thoughtfulness. Better than I was, he replied honestly. Thanks to the support of people like you. And as they made their way to their desks, Andrew couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the warmth of the support that surrounded him. For in the embrace of his loved ones and the camaraderie of his co-workers, he found the strength to face whatever challenges lay ahead, secure in the knowledge that he was not alone. The office buzzed with an undercurrent of tension as Andrew Hall sat at his desk, his gaze fixed on the screen before him but his mind consumed by thoughts of Parker Cole. Despite his best efforts to push the betrayal aside, it lingered like a dark cloud, casting a shadow over everything he did. But as the hours stretched on, Andrew's brooding was interrupted by the sound of Ray's voices coming from the other side of the office. Curiosity peaked, he rose from his desk and made his way towards the source of the commotion. As he rounded the corner, Andrew found himself face to face with Parker, his department manager, engaged in a heated argument with another co-worker. The tension in the air was palpable, thick with accusations and recriminations. You can't just sweep this under the rug, Parker, the co-worker said, his voice tinged with anger. You know what you did was wrong. Parker's face darkened with rage, but Andrew could see the flicker of uncertainty in his eyes. For the first time, he realized that Parker was not immune to the consequences of his actions, that he too was accountable for the damage he had caused. As the argument escalated, Andrew felt a surge of conflicting emotions coursing through him. Anger, betrayal, and resentment warred with the desire for justice and redemption. For too long, he had allowed Parker's actions to dictate his own sense of self-worth, but now, he knew that the time had come to take a stand. Enough! Andrew's voice rang out, cutting through the tension like a knife. 
We can't keep pretending like this didn't happen. Parker, you need to own up to what you've done. Parker's eyes widened in shock, but Andrew held his gaze steady, refusing to back down. For once, he felt a sense of empowerment, a conviction that he was doing what was right, not just for himself, but for all those who had been wronged by Parker's arrogance and deceit. And as the truth began to emerge, Andrew knew that the price of redemption would be high. But he also knew that it was a price worth paying for the chance to reclaim his dignity and his sense of self-respect and to finally put an end to the shadow of doubt that had haunted him for far too long. In the aftermath of the confrontation with Parker, Andrew Hall found himself standing at a crossroads, grappling with the weight of his decision to speak out against his department manager. As he made his way home that evening, the events of the day replayed in his mind like a broken record, each moment fraught with uncertainty and doubt. But amidst the turmoil, Andrew found solace in the unwavering support of his wife, Janice, who greeted him with a warm embrace as he stepped through the door. You did the right thing, Andrew, Janice said softly, her voice filled with pride. I know it wasn't easy, but you stood up for what you believe in, and that's what matters. Andrew nodded, his heart heavy with the weight of his actions. I just hope it was enough, he replied, his voice tinged with doubt. But Janice refused to let him wallow in self-doubt. You can't control the outcome, Andrew, she said firmly. But you can control how you respond to it, and no matter what happens, you'll always have my support. Her words offered a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness that threatened to consume him, and Andrew felt a renewed sense of determination stirring within him. For the first time in weeks, he allowed himself to believe that redemption was within reach, not just for himself, but for all those who had been wronged by Parker's actions. As the days turned into weeks, Andrew found himself consumed by a sense of purpose, driven by a desire to make amends for the past and forge a new path forward. He threw himself into his work with renewed vigor, determined to prove that he was more than just a high school dropout, that he was a force to be reckoned with, capable of achieving greatness despite the odds stacked against him. And as he watched the world around him begin to change, Andrew knew that the path to redemption would not be easy. But with Janice by his side and the support of his co-workers to buoy him, he was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, securing the knowledge that he was finally on the right track. As Andrew Hall stepped into the warmth of his home, he felt a sense of peace wash over him, a welcome respite from the chaos of the world outside. Janice greeted him with a smile, her eyes sparkling with love and affection as she moved to embrace him. Welcome home, Andrew, she said softly, her voice a soothing balm to his weary soul. Andrew returned her embrace, his heart swelling with gratitude for the woman who had stood by him through thick and thin. I'm glad to be home, he replied, his voice tinged with emotion. As they settled into the comfort of their living room, Janice reached out to take Andrew's hand in hers, her touch a gentle reminder of the bond that they shared. You've been through so much, Andrew, she said, her eyes searching his for any sign of distress. But no matter what happens, I want you to know that I'll always be here for you. Andrew squeezed her hand tightly, overcome by the depth of her love and support. I don't know what I would do without you, Janice, he admitted, his voice barely above a whisper. You're the reason I keep going, even when things seem impossible. Janice smiled, her eyes shining with tenderness. And you're the reason I believe in miracles, she replied, her voice filled with sincerity. Together, we can overcome anything. As they sat in companionable silence, Andrew felt a sense of peace settle over him, a quiet reassurance that no matter what the future held, he would face it with Janice by his side. For in her love, he found the strength to weather any storm, and in her presence, he found the courage to believe in himself once more. And as they looked towards the horizon, hand in hand, Andrew knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, bound by the unbreakable bond of love that had carried them through the darkest of times. For in the end, it was love that was the true source of their strength, a force more powerful than any obstacle they could ever hope to overcome.